Yeah, it's gonna make me come and get it, so we're gonna have to go after it. Alright, meanwhile, the mortars over here should be done shooting, right? Yes, okay. We're gonna go ahead and bring this PRM up. I think we should be good with anything shooting at it. We're gonna go ahead and run him up here. Bring him up there to watch down the valley. Mortar uh, battery HQ up so we can get some more shooting going on. Better line of sight from this tree line here. I can't see this spot right here, that's annoying. Yeah, it's just barely out of view. You have to move him over a bit. Right here should do it, I think. And right here. Those guys are still directing a smoke mission. All right, time to clear out this forest. While we're trying to kill that other tank, we're gonna clear out the forest. Should already be pretty much clear. It's just gonna be a matter of sending guys in to make sure that that's the case. I know we've got a, we got a, EMP or something hiding over here, I think. Wow, there's still some infantry over there? He's running out of the building. Oh, and he's down. Two tanks got him. Just need to kill this troublesome tank and then we can move, move forward. Where did he go? I don't know if it's sitting there or if it's moved somewhere else. I have no idea where that thing is now. Hey Russ, uh, I have been streaming since 2, so about 3 hours now. Yeah, I don't know if that's such a good idea, actually. We already saw what happened the last time I tried to do something like that. I think I'm going to wait another turn over there and see if that tank comes to me. Because I have a feeling it's heading for the wood line. I'm gonna see if I can get the drop on this up. Uh, I think this is a BMP-2 here. 
want to see if I can get the drop on it. This is an RPG team. We could kill it easily at this range if we're the first ones to see it. Some infantry spotted here. Looks like maybe a machine gun team. Still no spot on that T sixty four. That's, there's its crew running away. All right, let's get some artillery on this patch of woods here. Still can't see it. You gotta be kidding me. I think I gotta. That's gonna have to work. Oh shoot, I just thought of something. I wanna actually use both. There we go. Multi unit fire mission. As I thought, it's pretty much safe over here now. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want a linear target. Put some more mortar shells on this. Uh, the, the small UAV we currently have lit for the Russians in Black Sea is the Zala 421-08. And um, the units assign them. You can you can buy it as a normal support asset, or you can um, uh, the recon companies have them assigned to like you know as an organic part of their equipment. Time to kill this guy. I don't know who he is, but he's dying, so let's move this guy out. Put an area target right there. Uh, Russ, I am playing the first mission of the Russian campaign. Alright, I think I'm going to bring another two tanks over here. We're going we're gonna to find this guy and kill him. Where's the other guy? I think that was the one that died over there. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna back these guys out and bring them over there. I don't want to move these guys because I feel with my luck, the second um, I turn them to move them somewhere, that thing's gonna pop out and shoot them in the side. I just know it. So we're gonna pull these two guys out and move them over to hunt that sucker down while these guys stay here and watch that tree line with Hawkeyes. And we should be able to get past the tree line with the benefit of that smoke. 
because I don't think, uh, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that T64BV has thermals. It just has regular night vision, so that smoke there is going to block it. Alright, it's going to take them more than a turn to get there, so we'll stay like that. So far, these woods are completely clear. There were some guys in the tree line here, but I think those mortars knocked them out. Looks like I'm going to have to move the smokes here. These tanks kind of screwed up my timetable. Okay, so these tanks are going to arrive there next turn. Oh man, they are so close to that BMP and they still can't see it. It's going to get exciting over there in a second. save really quick just in case something happens. Alright, here we go. Man, I love those BMP-3s against infantry targets. If you find one and there's a BMP that can see it, it's just, it's over. That position is dead. Aha! They spotted them! There it is. Got him, and it's down. Gotta love RPG-7s. That doesn't look good. Still can't find that tank. Where did it go? I need to cancel that area of fire. It's done. It's out here somewhere. It's out here somewhere, and we're going to find it.
There it is. We got him. Wow, that bush should totally not have stopped that shot. Uh oh. Yeah, he's down. Okay. Uh, Buff Puff, actually, amazingly, so far, I have not lost any tank commanders. Alright, so we got infantry engaging the tanks, RPG. Our tank spotted him pretty much immediately, and we're, we're gonna knock him out now. Alright, so now we can move on the dairy farm. And it's dead. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't think I've lost any of my scouts either. This is incredible. It's a momentous occasion. I have not lost any scouts or tank commanders so far. Alright, so we're good to go. We're going to move these guys in and take the dairy farm. Uh, that's mud. I don't want to move them over mud. Now, bushes should not be stopping those shells. They definitely should not. So we're going to bring them right up into here. I don't think there's any enemy, enemy infantry left in the dairy farm, because we really shelled the crap out of it, and all the infantry we saw were running away from it. That waypoint went crazy somehow. I'm going to fix that in a second. Must have clicked somewhere by accident. Alright, and then we got another infantry platoon in the trees out here. I'm actually going to load these guys back up. There we 
go. All right, so they're going to put smoke down. Uh, we're going to secure this. We got artillery coming on the forest here. And then when that is just before that's complete, we're going to send in this rifle platoon right here. They're going to hit, hit the forest. So it looks like we do actually have some infantry sitting in the uh, in the wood line here, but they've had enough. He's surrendering. I can't say I blame him. He's surrounded by tanks. So we're going to go ahead and bring these tanks up to watch right here. Whoops. We actually don't need to move these tanks any closer. They can see the forest from here, so they're good where they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and give these guys some more advanced orders. Take these buildings. I seriously don't expect anyone to be in these buildings. We shelled the crap out of this place, and everyone we saw had already run out of the complex. That was an RPG. Missed. Looks like he came from over here. Uh, BMP behind us on the high ground is engaged with an RPG now. Oh my god, there are infantry in there still? Wow. Looks like we're getting engaged by infantry out here. Whoop. Ah, my camera's going crazy. Infantry out here. Yeah, one of the BMPs bogged down in the loose ground, but it's it's working now. All right, so let's get that infantry knocked out. We've got all sorts of stuff back here. That'll take care of them. What the heck? We'll use two of them. Let's get a whole bunch of firepower going to, uh, on these places. Oh, there's some infantry in this building. Where is he? There he is. Cowering though. Oh, he's got a he's got a uh, uh, a disposable RPG. Let's put some fire on him. of overkill. Helicopter spotted that guy too. 
now that's overkill over here. Alright, so we've got artillery um, hitting those targets right now, so we're going to be getting ready to start moving this, um, why aren't you in the vehicle? You should be in the vehicle. This infantry platoon here is going to be getting ready to move on that forest. We're going to move them up out of the wood line so they'll be able to move immediately when I give them the order. Let's see how long that artillery has. Oh, they're still in spotting. Okay. Got a little while. see the forest from where they are. All right. Первый на подходе. Пристрелка. Принято. Выхожу на цель. Пристрелка. Принято. Работа разрешаю. Разрыв вижу, отбой. What is that helicopter attacking? Разрыв вижу, отбой. Накрытие цели, прием. Первый на подходе. Пристрелка. Принято. RPG team out there. Looks like they're running away. And they're dead. Выхожу на цель. Принято переглашаю. Alright, we're gonna leave the sniper team there to take that guy prisoner uh, pretty soon. They take, it takes them a little bit of time to actually take the prisoner, simulates, you know, searching and all that processing them and all that, and then when they're actually taken prisoner, they'll disappear off the map and be out of the game. Team that ran away. 
Remember, this is not happening uh, yet. until that artillery stops hitting. Less than one minute, we're going to start moving the BMPs. We're going to kill the area fires, probably tell the helicopter to stop attacking in the area. Make sure I got all of that area fire ended. still have some artillery hitting here, but it's not a concern for us. And it's time to get the BMPs rolling. Alright, so right about here, we're going to stop, pop smoke. Well, I'll just go ahead and give those orders for now. It's going to take them more than a minute to get over there, so we're just going to do that for now. And we'll do the rest of the orders later. Hi, Buff Puff. Question is, uh, when we're going to create the art dense for us, it'll be a little while. It's not even an alpha yet. So they're gonna pop smoke. We're gonna start. We're gonna move there. And then we're going to. Wait a minute, that's not right. What are you doing? I don't want you to pause. All right, we'll pause there for 30 seconds to let the smoke screen form. 
I don't, I'm not, I don't actually know exactly how long it will take, but we'll do this just for safety. It also gives the artillery some time to stop dropping. That artillery should be done, but there's probably still shells in the air. Yeah, they're done, but there's probably still stuff arriving. Let's check out the air, let's check out the status of that helicopter. Yeah, we need to end this helicopter right away. So those 30 seconds will give me time for all that stuff to stop. Vlad asks if there's an overall morale to the enemy. Yes. Every soldier, every team, and just the general command has morale. And it will affect how well they perform, their willingness to surrender or run away. Uh, also, if units are in contact with each other, they will actually, like, lose morale from units over the radio, taking a lot of casualties. So you'll see a unit, like, on the other end of the map that has no, it's not in contact with anyone, and if it's other guys on the radio net with them are taking major casualties, their morale will plummet, even though they're not actually fighting anything. And they can also, uh, their, their morale gets more brutal if they're out of contact with anyone, because, you know, that's not exactly, uh... Um, a very good situation for anyone if they're not in contact with anyone, they have no idea what's going on. Alright, so they're going to pop smoke, move forward, wait 30 seconds. The smoke should land about 200 meters ahead of them, and then we're going to run up, and then it's time to actually um, unload and do the assault. All right, here we go. Let's see how all this works. Yeah, it's worth remembering that in addition to teams um, and commands having their own morale, each individual stol soldier's mental state is also tracked. So when you're shooting at a squad, you'll see some of the guys will be fighting back and some of them won't. Alright, I probably could have given them less of a wait time. Oh well. Timing was a little bit off on that. This sort of thing will take a little bit of practice to get ready. So yeah, I should have made the wait less, like maybe 10 seconds. I'll be moving forward any moment now. Uh, the only um, in, uh, user asks, will there be any increased statistics in the game now or in the future? I don't know about the future, but I know that right now, um, units do record any kills against aircraft. That's about the only increase that I know of in statistics. Mm, okay, I didn't get that smoke quite right. I should have launched it further. All stuff you gotta practice. Should have gotten that smoke further out. Luckily, there's no one shooting at me, so I'm not being punished for my mistakes. A real human being, interesting name, asks if um, units surrender. Yes. Yep, they do a little animation. I don't know. They already collected this guy. There was a Ukrainian over here. His buddy got gunned down, and then he... Put, he puts his hands up and surrenders, but he's already been collected. So when units surrender, you can actually uh, rescue them if you manage to kill off the enemy units around them and get to them. Whoa, what was that? Uh, but uh, if you, if, they, if the enemy manages to actually like, process the surrender and send them back, then uh, they'll disappear off the map and then they can't be rescued anymore. Alright, so that's probably Ukrainians calling an artillery on the dairy farm.
All right, so next we're gonna shift our fire support to the village. Oh shoot, what am I doing? Uh, I should call in all the helicopters on it. Okay, I gotta wait till... Can I do it now? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna call in three helicopters on this place. We're gonna absolutely wreck this place. I should have been calling in multiple helicopters on all these targets, but I keep forgetting about that. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start shifting all our artillery support onto the village. We actually used up all our howitzers. We're out of that. I'll go with general since there's some buildings. Alright, so I think these woods are abandoned, but we're gonna... We'll put them on hunt. That way if they get shot at, they're just gonna stop shooting immediately. Or stop moving, I mean. Alright, that's too thick for the BMPs. I don't want to move them in there. So we're gonna move them around. Spotted an RPG gunner out here. Right there, these guys spotted him. Too far away for them to engage. So this is probably what that helicopter was attacking. Looks like the helicopter got one of them. Nice. What have we got here? It's just some random guy. Here you go, uh, a real human being. There's a guy surrendering. There, those tanks will area fire in the vicinity of that RPG gunner. I think we got a possible infantry spot over here. We're gonna go ahead and get some machine gun fire in, in on that area. And the PKM here will shoot at it. And the snipers, why not? Огонь. 
Oh, what's this? That's a, that's a man pads team there. Hey, we spotted that man pads that shot it all the way at the beginning of the scenario. There he is. Oh, that's getting closer. That's not good. There he goes. Uh, RPGs, uh, effective range for area fire. Oh, I don't remember what the effective range is for area fire. I think it's something like a thousand meters, nine hundred meters, something like that. I have to look it up. Uh, point target, though, I wouldn't shoot it past. Oh, there we go. Mission's over. Uh, right now there is a slight uh, flaw in the AI. It's shooting RPGs from too far away. That's something that still needs to be adjusted. All right, so we win. Total victory. Uh, the Ukrainians surrendered. So this is something else when you're talking about surrendering. When a force, um, the overall force has hit like a really bad morale state and they've taken massive casualties, they'll eventually just surrender. The whole force will and surrender in mass and end the scenario. Like just happened now. Alright, so battle's over. Let's look at what we had. We, there was some infantry left in here, but they were all in really bad shape. A lot of casualties. Fire support really did a number on these guys before we even got to them. Here's a mortar battery HQ team. Those are probably the ones calling in a fire mission on us. While we're looking at the AR guys, if you guys want to look at anything in the editor, just tell me now. Uh, I think I could show off the BTRs. Those got some new uniforms. It looks like a tank crew here. Or an APC crew since they're not in coveralls. Yeah, these guys are really busted up. Yeah, here's what this, um, that, uh, the Havoc was attacking. They were attacking the company. Oh, they, they found the company HQ team and it was working them over. Uh, really hurt them. Didn't kill all of them, but wounded just about everyone. All right, let's look at how much casualties everything caused. Whoa, uh, all right, this T-72 here did nice work. Ten enemy casualties, one BMP-2, two T-64s, and a BMP-2K. That one knocked out a T-64. This one just knocked out three enemy soldiers. And that one got some infantry before he died. This one also knocked out a T-64 and eight enemy casualties. Ooh, this uh, rifle team here did good work. Six enemy casualties all to themselves. Nice job. I wonder how much that T-64 I killed back here did. Uh, it actually, it it was mostly its position that was a problem, not so much the tank itself. It knocked out two T-72s and took and inflicted five enemy casualties, which I think were all crew members of those T-72s. Uh, Dutchman asks if any more American vehicles got full textures. They've all had full textures for a long time now. All right, so fire support did most of the heavy lifting here, along with the BMPs. Yeah, I bet if we look in here, we're going to see a lot of uh, dead troops from artillery. Yep, right there. Actually, I think the BMPs might have gotten some of those guys. They all pretty much got wiped out before the infantry got to them. <laughs> 